It's overwhelmingly popular that they're going to run on it now. Oh, that is news. Yeah. Hey, everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Did you know this? I This is the first time, this is like news to me, that Obamacare is so popular that the Democrats are going to run on it for their party platform this next election. Really? Mm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it absolutely is, because when the Democrats are now touting the fact that how popular Obamacare is, that they're now going to run on it, and they're now stressing the Republicans shut this country down. And, well, the problem was there was no damage from the Republicans shutting the country down, but uh, it is now counting six and a half million people have lost their insurance that are not going to have any insurance because the site, the Obamacare site, won't handle six and a half million people signing up. <clears throat> it will, and actually it isn't even signing up anybody at the moment because as of about a half hour ago the site, the back end of the site isn't working and it hasn't worked in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Which means they sign no one up but a lot of people come by and they get their names into the system and then it says we will assign you a, a time that you can come back. Uh, you know, some, you know, problem is, is the site is down at night for maintenance oh. and therefore you don't have enough hours in a day they would be able to do what they need to do. And Obama Republicans are responsible for the website problems. Well, because they, they have been nothing but, uh, they, they have been, the Republican extremists are trying to destroy health care for those people that don't have it in the country. And, um, and, uh, and they've done everything they could to stop Obamacare. And the only problem is, is that Obama, the Democrats own this, and so does Obama. Everything going wrong is their fault. Republicans are not doing anything. Mm. And Bill, because they're doing nothing, they're responsible. No. <clears throat> He's already spent, uh, they get, he had $50 million due to the website. They spent $750 million so far for a $50 million deal. Well, they did. <clears throat> yeah. And well, Croatia. He was friends with the family at the deal. And Croatians protest ahead of anti-gay marriage referendum. Because the only people in the world, <clears throat> okay, they, they, they want to do gay, gay rights and stuff in England. That caused an ungodly almost disaster. Most of the countries that have gay rights don't have gay marriage. Because they basically, all of their religions forbid it. So what happens is the United States is deciding to fly, okay, here's the trick is. According to the United Nations, there's no more than 7 million gay people in the world. So how can you have all of these gay people in the United States if there's only 7 million in the world and most of them are in countries other than the United States? Ah. Yeah. And officials, the worst tech bugs over for healthcare.gov. Well, yeah, other than the fact that it doesn't work and that it only works for uh, so many people. It has to work for everybody, and it doesn't work for everybody, that, because they said, uh, here's a good one. A minority president basically says F you to people that basically can't get on the website. It's his problem, and he knew, or he knew it wouldn't work, he knows it still doesn't work, and there's no security on the site. They keep telling him, you don't, they're telling people, don't go to the site and sign up. And so Republicans are extremists. They're telling people not to go there to hurt the people that don't have it. No, their own tech people will not use the site because it's not a secure site. And Obama knows it's not and secure. And they don't want their there's information all over something that's not secure. That's right. And if and that, of course, presumes that you know how to use a computer. Because presuming you have a computer, which Obama didn't seem to get. Okay. He has lost, uh, with most of the people that he used to get elected don't have computers anymore. They have no online service. And he hadn't counted on, he should have known from the last election when Mont Romney could have beat him if Romney would have got off his butt. So. And if all we do is delay ramp the nuclear weapon, we have won. That's Obama's strategy now. That's what the, uh, um, you know, the Democrats in the election yesterday won. We have stopped Iran in their tracks. They're going to, it's going to delay their creating the nuclear bombs. And even if it stops them for six months, we've won the war. I, 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 that makes no sense to anybody logical. You're going to let them have the nuclear bomb. You're just not going to let them have it today. They said what happens is they know for a fact right now the Saudis are fishing for nuclear weapons. The, uh, the uh, 
uh, and other, other Middle Eastern countries are all looking for nuclear weapons now. And Korea all of a sudden is eating lots of food they didn't have before. So guess who is selling them? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, you know, Herbie Daddy says something. He said, you, you basically, uh, this much nuclear material can destroy a whole city block. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're talking about making pounds. This much can destroy a city block. Mm -hmm. And they've all got that much. And you don't have to, I mean, Herbie Daddy said, they didn't really have that in rich crap when they blew up Japan. They just stuck a bunch of stuff that they made in a bomb and blew up the hell out of everything. Mm -hmm. That was not, that was, well, we're talking, well, we're going to have control explosions now. If you're a terrorist, do you care if it's a control thing? No. You go get this and blow up a city block somewhere. Mm -hmm. And New York City commuters warned delays following the railway. Yeah, they they said that the, well the train was probably going too fast around the corner. Well, the trick is the train is going 70 miles an hour until it comes to the corner, then it's got to do 30, mm -hmm. and they think the brakes may not have worked. And U.S. gas pipeline explodes in Missouri, no injuries reported. Well, you're going okay. There, it, it, you're going to have an explosion a week in order to keep the pipeline from Canada being built to the United States because the uh, they. Obama wants, wants America off of oil entirely and onto his green stuff, which doesn't work. None, okay, the green energy is a total dead thing because you can't be afforded. And the green, even the people, they, okay, California is green fanatics and they won't buy green cars. Mm. They don't go anywhere. And Yahoo the balance to encrypt all of its users' personal data. Oh, God, I've seen their crap. I mean, basically. Every, you can no longer get an email on, ya, on, on Yahoo unless you basically have a cell phone. And they don't understand the majority of the people in the United States do not own cell phones. They have landlines. And they can't lose a landline because they'll text you. Um, and preferred pronouns gain traction at U.S. colleges. Oh, yeah, because you're no longer supposed to say uh, Mr. or Mrs. or Ms. You're now supposed to be a neutral. Saying, what? Yes, no more Mr. or Mrs. I mean, as a, it has to be a neutral thing for genders, so that equality is to have a general, a, new, a general neutral, a gender neutral. Thing. Gender neutral? I know. <laughs> I know. I'm old. I, I can't and Bitcoin surges to new high ahead of U.S. government hearing. Is it kind of awful funny? There is no such thing. Okay. Um, what is the deal about Bitcoin? Uh, uh, there is. It's a means of paying for stuff. Without having to have you know a hard currency, no, there is no Bitcoin. They do not exist. They only exist in the in the Winkleman's mines. I mean, it's like a like thirteen hundred dollars for a Bitcoin now that doesn't exist and that nobody will accept. What? Okay. Well, they use it for for payment, right? They use it for payment, but there's no process for accepting it in big businesses. And the only place they can accept a thirteen hundred dollar coin is a big business because they don't, okay, uh, okay, every day says, oh, I'm going to go down to McDonald's and I'm going to buy a, a, you know, a dollar off of their dollar menu that still doesn't exist, you have to hunt for it. And, and uh, oh, you want to set my Bitcoin? But you have to because, you know, that's all I have. Well, I'm sorry, we don't accept Bitcoins mm -hmm. because we can't give change. Mm -hmm. um, Kaida Link Group says, says takes foothold in West Bank and members killed. Oh, yeah. The, um, basically what happens is is that the, the Israelis and the uh, terrorists are having their battles again on the West Bank. Obama wants to turn the West Bank over. To, he's already arranged for the Palestinians on the West Bank to have their own voting rights now in the General Assembly, which is the first step towards them becoming a state inside of Israel, which won't last because then they'll try to take over Israel next. And World War I battlefields will arise in London. They're, they're going to, okay, they are basically got a World War I garden that they're wanting, they're bringing new soil over from Europe to uh, to replace the soil that was dying in the garden. Uh, they got tons and tons of the stuff they brought over on ships to create this stupid thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Sounds I, I like hope, a, you know what a Percy PR Daddy <laughs> says? Anywhere you go in London, you have World War I and World War II yeah. soil. Yeah. It's Anywhere you go, you have it. And that, you, that is part of Europe, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Animonte bubble is from Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Herbie Daddy says that 
just because they say it is doesn't mean it is.